Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the tier list for the Dragon Tower, First Strike, and Heroes Resolve meta. We're going to be looking at both leaders and minis, and while this is just a tier list, and I'll be ranking them as such, um, be on the lookout in the next couple of days for a build guide for a lot of these leaders. We're going to be doing a mass overview of some different builds um, and ways you might want to play certain leaders. So, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, let's designate these ranks. First is S tier, which is like kind of busted, just a little, just better than what other leaders are doing currently. A is like your super solid picks, generally the best other than S tier, um, and generally there's not a lot in S tier. B tier is like a little worse than A. Um, you can play them to good success if you're good with them, but not necessarily optimal. C is like, you probably don't want to be playing these, and D is just don't touch these guys. So, let's go ahead and start here at the top with Jaina. Um, we're going to move her down to A tier. I do think that with the introduction of First Strike, um, she's much weaker, especially in Heroes Resolve. Um, it just doesn't seem like you can level her up far enough to protect her. Um, she's still very good, don't get me wrong. Definitely an A tier hero. Um, super solid all around. Hogger, we're going to move down to A tier as well. He's really good now, but with the addition of First Strike, the game has really sped up quite a bit, it seems. So it's really hard to uh, get all of the levels you used to be able to get on Hogger onto him. Um, he's still very good. Well pegs are an issue for this guy, which is why most decks are running Chain Lightning, but we'll get to that later in the mini section. But he's very good. Um, definitely an A tier. Thalnos, oh boy, this guy had his time to shine, and I don't think it is here anymore. Um, I think he's going to be C tier, um, I just don't think he's good right now. Um, Deep Breath is in the meta, it's hard to level him up very quickly, Whelp Eggs kill him, he's, he's just rough. Maybe he's B tier, maybe he's low B tier, um... I just don't think he's very good. There are better ways to kill your opponent's base. Um, Charlga. Still seeing a decent amount of this, but not as much as we were. I'm going to move her down to B tier. I think she's still probably very good. Um, she's just not nearly as tanky anymore. Like, there are lots of things that one-shot her with, uh, with First Strike. It's just super easily distractible by Quillbore. Um... Without Hogger being, like, the number one deck in the meta, I don't think she's very good against everything anymore. Uh, Emperor Thorsan, we're going to leave an A tier. I think Emperor is very good right now. First Strike is solid for him. I've been playing him a couple different ways. Uh, hard to get a read on the build I really want to play with him, but everything I've tried with him has been relatively decent so far. I think he has good matchups into meta decks like uh, Jaina and Hogger. Um, just super solid. Gramash is going to go stay in A tier, but go down to the bottom of it. I think he is very good. Um, I just, you know, Welp Eggs are really good against Gramash. They're really good against all melee heroes. Um, now, this isn't to say Gramash is bad. I think he's super solid A tier. I think everything in this A tier is playable up to 20k. Um, and past, I think he's super, super solid. Um, first strike is just fine with him. Um, and he has horde slots for troll with dragon towers and horde slots for chain lightning. There's something that you would probably want to play in most decks. So very good for this. Um, Baron. Oh, if I had to put him somewhere, he's probably S tier again. I think he's very solid in these maps. Um, being able to play him to gain chest control, to just level up with Heroes Resolve, being able to play cheap things with him uh, while spawning Skeleton Mages, um, I think he's just very good at controlling the map currently. Next we have General Dracosap. I think he's probably kind of along the same lines of uh, Gramosh. He's super solid, especially while players are not running Polymorph. I think he's got a very big opening right now. Um, not very many players playing Polymorph just because um, you want to run Chain Lightning to answer Sappers, because if you can't answer Sappers, you're going to have a bad time in this meta. Um, I don't know, I just I don't think I've played a single person this evening with Polymorph in their deck. Next we have uh, Rind. 
Gonna keep him B tier, just not super solid in the Heroes Resolve meta. He's okay, um, but it's hard to cycle around to him. Same with Karen. They're both six costs. Um, or sorry, he's six costs. Karen's five costs. They're both big, but not easy to cycle back to. Um, I think they're both B tier. I think they're solid, and you can play them to good success. But I don't think they're as strong as they can be outside of the Heroes Resolve meta. The only thing that maybe Karen has going for him is the Troll HP buff, but even that's kind of just like okay right now. Maev is great. Um, man, it pains me. Um, she is A tier for sure. Now the question is, where is she in A tier? We're just going to leave her at the bottom. I don't really know that this is any specific order for these guys. Um, but Maev for sure um, has something going against her, which is a bug currently. I don't know how it got into the game, because I don't think it was there the last time Dragon Towers were around. But currently, if the enemy Dragon Towers shoot at anything while your Maiev is stealth on the map, it has a chance to unstealth her. And we don't know why. It's kind of weird, but she's very good. Um, being able to get first strike damage on her Blade Flurry, her Fan of Knives, is super solid. Um, kills a lot of things right now, does a lot of damage to the uh, towers. Only issue is being removed out of stealth randomly so super solid a tier if they fix that bug she'll be very solid probably high a tier maybe low s tier um Tyrion. Mm, man Tyrion's probably c tier dragon towers are rough against him first strike i think a drag will one shot him i don't know that to be true but um it's rough out here for Tyrion right now honestly um uh, murkai definitely a tier i think there's a really good deck that is playing him with sappers um and with heroes resolve it means that after a first couple plays um you're not gonna be able to kill him with chain lightning anymore um which is um or safe pilot which is super good for them um sneed is probably c tier he's probably a little better and then uh especially since gadget is back but him being able to play sappers and sappers being so powerful right now having a slot for chain lightning super solid and then sylvanas gonna go with d tier i don't think she's very good at all i think she's pretty awful um let's go on to minis so same rankings here um we're just gonna go start at s tier and move down um blizzard right now is probably a tier i think it's good but it's not as good as it was last meta um the games aren't nearly as long um before Heroes Resolve meta with Bounty Hunt, games were going into overtime consistently. Now they're going sometimes into overtime, but generally they're done pretty quick. Um, this was really good against Jaina with the Heroes Resolve meta, being able to kill it up to, uh, I believe it was level 18, which was super solid. Uh, now that we're not worried about getting Jaina that high, especially with First Strike, um, this is a little less good. I also think that Deep Breath is also A tier. Don't think it's super OP. Yes, it feels bad the players don't have it, and it's a good spell, but I don't think it's actually OP in the meta. And then we are going to leave these three in the S tier. Um, they consistently perform well in any modifier, any meta. Um, Arthi has a golden rule of <laughs> Griffin Cobor safe file in every deck. Um, and, I mean, it rings true so far. It's uh, pretty crazy that different modifiers will push things out of the meta except for these guys up here um next we have chain lightning which i'm gonna put s tier um this might be controversial i think this is amazing i think you need to be playing it to counter sappers if you're not playing it you want to run coming in hot on safe pilot um but this is also good against um like nine kobolds it's good against harpies not that people are really playing harpies it's good against whelp eggs which is a big one um super solid Dark Iron Miner, A tier all the way. Bandits, A tier. Uh, Bandits help you cycle for your resolve meta. Uh, Dark Iron Miner helps you claim gold. Um, Murlocs, A tier. Prowler, ooh, Prowler's probably B tier now that he is. Um, now that we have Dragon Towers, he's just kind of okay. I am playing him in our general, not general, Emperor Thorson deck, and it's been pretty solid. So maybe he's better than B tier. Not bottom of B tier, maybe high B tier, low A. Um, Harvest Golem, probably gonna put it in B tier. Um, it's just very specific. I think it goes in Emperor Thorsen, even I was taking it out this evening and having great success. 
Um, it goes in Jaina, so not a lot it goes into, but it's still fine. Polymorph is probably B tier. It's, for whatever reason, fallen off. I don't know why that is. Um, people just aren't playing it right now with um, sappers in the meta. People are really making room for their sappers, um, which means you need to have answers for them. And it just seems like this has kind of uh, fallen out of favor. Uh, Arcane Blast, same thing. It's in B tier. It was S tier for about a couple days when First Strike affected spells, but that's no longer a thing. Um, Banshee, Batrider, Core Hounds, uh, all... I can't realistically put these guys in the same tier as Troll, actually. But I think we're going to move Troll up. Yeah, these guys are probably be tier. Very situational. Um, Core Hounds maybe less good with Dragon Towers now. Maybe they'll go in C tier, but they're okay. Uh, Troll we're going to put into A tier. He solos Dragon Towers. He'll solo the enemy base if they don't do anything about him. Uh, with the region talent, he is super solid. Uh, Drake, probably C tier now that Dragon Towers are here. Kind of unfortunate. Um, Gargoyle, same thing. Ghoul, stays in B tier. Harpies, probably B tier. Executes B tier. Um, let's see. Raptor's good for cycle decks. Shaman, good for Drexaf decks. Um, Skeletons are probably a little better. Probably not outside of B tier with Dragon Towers, but definitely good that Bounty Hunt is gone. Um... Welp eggs. These have got to be high A tier or low S tier. These guys are super solid with first strike. They do so much damage. Um, ah, you know what? If Chain Lightning's in S tier, Welp eggs are in S tier. That's just kind of how it goes. Um, Abomination, Cheat Death, Chimera. Just kind of reviewing some things here. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Sappers, A tier. These guys do so much damage because first strike applies to them. Um, it is insane. Like I was saying, you need to have answers. Four chain or four sappers, which could consist of coming in hot safe pilot or chain lightning. Um, chain lightning is better; it's instant. You can play it quickly. Safe pilot, you have to wind up, and they have a chance to either smoke bomb and run them past your safe pilot, or uh, using cheat death to avoid your safe pilot. So, pretty rough. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is moving around. Nothing's really getting buffed or nerfed. It's just kind of the meta or the tier list rather now that different modifiers have rotated in and out so let me know what your opinions are did i misplace something in these tier lists um once again here's the leader one and three two one here's the mini one um like i said let me know in the comments below if i misplaced any of the leaders or i misplaced any of the minis in your opinion let me know why um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and like i said be on the lookout for a video or two coming in the very near future probably in the next couple days where we will talk about different builds and how to play different leaders uh, because I know that's important and I need to get some PvP guides out for you guys and I appreciate you guys being here. So, have a good one. Until next time.